Hey guys, um, Scammer Revolts here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, set up a virtual box. I'm not going to be using VMware. If you guys want a tutorial for VMware, I'll do one. But a tutorial for a virtual box on how to set it up, um, not just for scamming, um, if you want to make scammer videos. But also just if you want to use VirtualBox for multiple systems in one computer and such. So first you're going to want to go to Google Chrome or any web browser you have. And you're going to want to get VirtualBox. You just search VirtualBox and then the link will be right here. The first link which is Downloads. So if you guys are on Linux, you can go here. If you're on OS X or um, Mac, you can go here this I don't even remember what that is and for Windows you go here so you're gonna download this go through the install and everything and once you get that you're gonna get an icon on your desktop I don't have it on my desktop but it's gonna give you an icon it's gonna look like this and you're just gonna open that and you're not gonna have all of you're not gonna have all of this stuff here um, this is gonna be completely blank so before we even mess around with this, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to your internet browser. Let's go bookmarks. Right here. You're going to want to go to this website. I'll have this in the description. It's a great website for downloading just random operating systems. See, Windows XP Media Center Edition 2005. I mean, sorry if I'm stifling, but I'm still kind of sick. So, yeah. But, um, so. They have so many different OS's, not just Windows. They have Mac, they have Linux, they have just so much crap here. Windows Server, Windows 10 Redstone, they have everything here. Um, they got Red Hat, for Linux, Distro. Um, they have so much stuff here. Now, I already have some ISOs downloaded. Um, so I'm going to have to download this one. Um, but So you can see there's just pages upon pages pages of OS downloads. It's just it's so many. It's such a useful website. Oh for toolbox. Um such a useful website for getting ISOs. So once you choose one, it could be anyone, um you just choose it and download it. We're gonna be using a Windows um one. So as you see I have a lot of ISOs here. And today we're gonna be doing um for uh, mine, we're going to be using XP Black Edition. So, Windows XP Black Edition is basically the pirated version of Windows XP. Um, uh, you guys have seen it in my videos before. Um, it's listed right here. But, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to VirtualBox. And make sure you have the ISO downloaded first and put it on your desktop or somewhere where you know where it is. And then you're going to want to click New. And you got create a virtual machine here. Name it whatever you want. Just name it Windows Black Extra. That's what I'm going to name mine. And then you're going to want to make sure the type is selected on Windows. It should automatically do it if you have Windows. You search Mac. It's going to put it to that. And then you're going to want to go in here. It says Windows 7. That's not going to work. So you're going to want to click on Windows XP 32-bit in my situation because it's a 32-bit of Windows. You have 64 bit, 64 bit, just a bunch down here. If it's just a, a a version that's not on here, pretty much everything is on here. Um, you could click other version, then choose if it's 64 bit or not. But see, you have everything here. And then you want to click next, and the RAM. This depends on how much RAM you have. I have 12 gigabytes of RAM, but remember, this is 32 bit, so it's only going to be able to use up to three. But I have 12 gigs. You don't want to put Past this little line right here. If I use eight gigs, I'll still have I'll still have a lot of RAM left. Um, but if you say you only have like four gigs, you really only want to use one gig for the virtual machine. Wherever this line is, see this green line is it's recommended. Then you go here and it's like oh that's yellow. And then here you just want to stop. Don't do that. But for this, I'm gonna set it to three gigs. A little bit over. Um, let's do that. 
So three gigabytes of RAM. Then click next. And then now here's your virtual hard disk. Um, just create create a virtual hard disk this now. That's gonna make a virtual hard disk like that. And then just just do the virtual box uh, disk image. And then dynamically located. And then now here's where you can name name it. So when you go into the files, you can actually explore the files of this, and you can name it. Um, I'm just gonna leave it as this. And then you can change the amount of space on it. You can make it four megabytes. Um, they recommend um, what you call it? Uh, ten gigabytes. So yeah, you're gonna want to round somewhere around there. I have two terabytes, so. Yeah, but I'm not going to put 2 terabytes in there either. So I'll put around 15 bytes, create that. And then it's going to do this, but you're not done yet. So you can see all the stuff here. Now you can click on settings. And you can go to your settings of it. So if you go to advanced, it's just, it's just the stuff about it. You can encrypt it, change the name of it, change the version or anything. And then if you go to system, change the RAM, the amount of CPUs that you want, the amount of cores, um, all that stuff can be changed here, acceleration, display, you can change the um, video capture, they have a video capture thing, but that server, screen, um, your, your video memory and stuff, I wouldn't touch this stuff unless you had a graphics card, you can enable to 3D acceleration, storage, audio, um, all this other stuff is pre-configured, you don't really touch it unless you want to screw up the internet or something so then just double click on it uh, on the little highlighted spot here it's going to start loading here and uh, you can see it says select the startup disk you're going to want to click this little file icon pop up the search thing so I put mine in here mine's not on the desktop mine's in here so you're going to want to go to desktop or wherever you have the ISO image um, the file and you're gonna want to find it so condition and just hit it click on it once and then click open now it's gonna have it in here make sure that's in here right here these are other versions that I these are other ones that I've had in here you should only have this one thing click this down thing then I can click start and it's gonna start running it it's gonna say virtual box now if you get a thing that says hit this hit any key or something like that to go into something don't click it just let it go past that but so right now what it's bringing us into is the Windows setup so it's gonna be like if you were doing it on a regular computer um, but it's gonna be drastically faster because the fact that this is a virtual machine let's enter and we're gonna agree Put it on there. Do it as quick format. Take too long. Then it shows you the exact this is exactly what you would see on um, setup. Except that this is black edition. Well professional but black edition. It's gonna copy the files and stuff. So after this is all installed, you will be able to delete the ISO and it'll still run with that. Um but after it's like fully installed, after the install is fully complete, then you can delete the ISO and everything. So it's setting up files here. Um, I guess I'll just explain this, what you're in right now. So we got some stuff down here. Here's the hard drive LED. Um, like if you see a hard drive LED on the laptop, that's that. Here's um, for disk. You don't have a disk. Um, network. You got here USB. Um, you can click on something. And files, shared folders, memory size, video capture. Right click on all this stuff here. And then if you go to file, you can go to your preferences and everything. Machine. You go to the settings from here and settings you just look at, take a snapshot. Now a snapshot is like right where the computer's at right then. You could take a snapshot of that and then you can refer back to that snapshot to be right where you were. Um, the information about it, and then API shutdown, reset and pause. API shutdown is like if you're pressing the power button. 
view, um, pretty much all the full screen, all the modes and everything, and then the video capture and screenshot. And then keyboard, you can, if you click insert any of these, it's going to run that command for your keyboard. Then optical drive, network, all that stuff here. Then just help to so the other side and get help and everything. But yeah, so now it's just doing the Windows install. And there's not really much after this. There's only um, some things it will install onto the OS for you. But this is pretty much how VirtualBox goes when it wants to get anything done. So yeah, I'm going to wait for this setup to be done. Then I'm going to. I'll resume when it's done. All right, so we are back, and I've just finished the installation, and we are now on the welcome screen for Windows XP Black Edition. It's load a little bit. Um, so it was pretty fast installation. It took maybe five minutes. Um. And there you go, you can change your stuff. Um, but yeah, so here it is. It's just like a computer. Do anything you want on it. It's download whatever you want. It won't mess with your actual computer. Um, but yeah, so if we go to computer properties, see there's our RAM. Um, text my CPU. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. If you want to close it, just click the X. Click power off the machine. Go. So that's pretty much um, it. And sorry, you just double click. Click it again. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty simple. I just wanted to make this tutorial for anyone else that wanted to try this. Um, but that's how, pretty much how um, you get the scammers. <laughs> um, here's the Windows 10 I was using in the scammer video yesterday. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, comment if you guys need any help with it, if you guys are getting any notes or anything. See you in the next video.